The more hits we play, the more hits we get. URLradio.net. Stacey Sturm. Kevin Kyes. Okay. Ladies, this one's for you. And guys, maybe you can confirm or deny this. I'm doing this with you instead of with a female co- co-host so that you can stand up for men. <laughs> I appreciate that. You have... I'm the voice of man. Yes, you are. I am the voice <laughs> of man. All right. These are some ways that you can tell if he's going to be bad in bed. Okay. Okay. The first one is gentleman first. If he always goes first in line, into the car, through a door, you got to imagine he's probably going to want to go bet. first in the bedroom. Absolutely. <laughs> he's not going to be so worried about you. And really, should you be hanging out with that kind of guy anyway? Right? What a dink. Yeah. Who who doesn't let the lady go first? Even if your mama didn't tell you that, isn't that like That's instinctual? Right. I don't know. I would say so. So if that happens, just end the date now. Mm-hmm. Um, no sense of humor. If he doesn't have any sense of humor, um... He's he's probably not. He's gonna be he's gonna be the wrong kind of stiff in the bedroom too. <laughs> <laughs> Things get messy in life. They do. Yes. They're not. It's life sucks a lot of times. And if you are stuck with a guy who has absolutely no sense of humor, who takes everything so oh, what the, what the fun is that? Mm-mm. I know. So if you can't have fun anywhere, you're not gonna be having fun anywhere. That's right. You know what I mean. Um. If he interrupts you, if he always interrupts you, doesn't give you the opportunity to even finish a sentence, if he jumps in and finishes your sentences and not in a lovely, cuddly couple kind of way, (laughs) just because he wants to, it's the sign of a bad listener. And a bad listener is not somebody who focuses on the other person in the conversation or in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. They're going to be very me, me, me. So far, you're not disagreeing with these. (laughs) No, I'm I'm 100% on board. The X-Files, if he talks about his ex or how his ex was in bed, Ooh. he talks about his bedroom stories from the past. In general, if he talks about his ex and in the bedroom quite frequently, if you've encountered that situation, chances are he does not want to have fun with anybody else yet. Mm-hmm. Or you're going to be in a, another story. <laughs> so th- so this, this, uh, this list could be subtitled, You're Dating a Douche. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I guess you're right. <laughs> signs, not signs he's bad and bad. Signs you're dating a dude. Yeah. <laughs> Next one is he won't stop talking <laughs> about how good he is in bed. This is never a good sign. If he has to talk about how great he is in bed all the time, he's compensating for something. Oh, he's trying absolutely. to convince himself. I'm I myself lousy. <laughs> lousy. <laughs> Now, as far as making out and stuff, top notch. (laughs) I'm the best there is. Sex, you're you're getting you're getting a solid five. (laughs) Oh my god! Okay, next. If he can't dance, if he has absolutely no rhythm, like won't even attempt. That rhythm on the dance floor, or lack of rhythm on the dance floor, is probably going to carry over to lack of rhythm in the bedroom. No motion in the ocean. (laughs) No motion in the ocean. Also, how does he kiss? Is he an over-enthusiastic, sloppy kisser? Because if he's over-enthusiastic and gross there, he's probably going to be over-enthusiastic and gross But now, do you draw a line there all the time? You know what I'm saying? Like, there are times that that may may, uh, warrant... Not a lot of saliva. Not a lot of saliva. I'm not talking like, and I'm going to spit on you everywhere. But where things get a little sloppy. Do not reach into my mouth and taste my breakfast. Like, that is just gross. That was a, that was a deal breaker when I dated. Very was few if things work. If you're shoving your tongue. So deep down my throat that you can probably extract my tonsils. <laughs> Although nice that it would save me money in a pinch. Sure. I would never have to have uh, yeah. my tonsils taken out. <laughs> um, it's just gross. It's just yucky. It's, it's a total deal. It was a total deal breaker, a total killer for me. And sloppy kisses, absolutely yuck. Oh, see, I've been in situations I don't want where your bucket of saliva. I'm like, I'm down with it. <laughs> 
I this, had is boyfriends. The right, this is the route we're going? Fine. <laughs> I had boyfriends who were drug addicts. I had boyfriends who were convicts. I had boyfriends who were <laughs> unsure of their sexuality. I drew the line at sloppy kissers. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Listen. Just saying. Your rap sheet's six feet long. I'm <laughs> down with that. Keep your damn spit to yourself. And it's so disappointing if you're really connecting with somebody. And then and you then, start kissing. And you're like, He's like oh Wah! my God. <laughs> yeah, they just eat your face. Mm-hmm. Dang. I had hopes for a son and now you're gone. So yeah, so that is, I agree. That's just gross. See, yeah, but I think. And then, I, then on the flip side, though, there's nothing better and more impressive than somebody who's a really great kisser. Mm-hmm. See, and I, and I and I think, uh, I I think when you, at least for guys, and and maybe yeah. just for me, in my twenties, that's the stage I was in was the raw, sloppy, just <laughs> yeah. And now I'm a little bit more refined. No, here's the thing. Passionate kisses, awesome. Like real deep passionate kisses, but don't inject two pounds of saliva into my mouth. <laughs> well, okay. But what about, okay. But what about two pounds of tongue? No. Because with tongue It can be saliva. totally, I know. It can be totally sexy without having to give it that much. You know what I mean? Without, you can be very passionate, very hot, very deep without having it. Yeah. <laughs> Yuck. Gotcha. Yeah. Also, no connection. Does he have a difficult time looking into your eyes and engaging in physical contact with you at the same time? If he can't do both simultaneously, he's probably got intimacy issues, and that's going to carry over into the bedroom as well. That one, I don't know. Some guys are just shy, maybe. (laughs) I can't talk about it. (laughs) I don't know. Then you have the over-grooming guys. If you ever notice, they spend more time making sure every hair is in place, Mm -hmm. that every muscle is taken care of when they work out, that every, yeah. Then they're going to be so caught up with the appearance of things that they're not going to actually get into the depth of things. Mm -hmm. They're very shallow people. Let's see. One too many drinks. If they have a habit in consuming a lot of drinks, at least two to three every night, or any given night that you are with them, you're likely not going to have as much fun as you would if they were sober. And take a hint. He can't hang out with you unless he's a little bit tuned up. (laughs) Does your guy wear too much fragrance? If you're wondering what all the cologne is covering up, then you're probably right to go with your gut. An extensive cologne collection and heavy spraying all day long may indicate some sort of insecurity regarding their natural scent or an overly self-obsessive attention to their grooming. Or they're covering up the other ladies. Uh, That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Oh, snap. (laughs) I do like a, a good smelling guy, though. I I can't I can't agree with you there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sit like w- when I was dating. I'd want to sit by you and be able to mm-hmm. smell you. Not overpowering, but I want to smell you as I sit by you. I don't want to have to be right up on you to have to smell you because I might not want to get right up on you. <laughs> you know what I like? I like the scent will a draw lady. me in. Yeah, and then like. Um, hanging out with that person and stuff like that, and then they're gone, and then a couple hours later you catch, it. yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Mm-hmm. We like the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I uh, I leave a scent behind as well called dirty t shirt. <laughs> called... It's called state fair shirt. <laughs> it's my carny shirt. Called, called deep deep fried everything shirt. <laughs> Can you smell that today? It's hot. <laughs> it's a mix of funnel cake and carnies. It's like. And shame. And no, it's going to... And disappointment. Disappointment? <laughs> <laughs> We're horrible, horrible people. Okay, and then the last one. The last sign that he might be bad in bed is workspace and home space issues. If his bedroom looks like a traveling businessman's hotel room, then likely work stress is going to weaken his focus on you and what the bedroom is all about. So if he's got an overrun office in his bedroom, mm-hmm. you can see where the focus is. It's yep. not on the bedroom. It's on the office, and you don't want to go there. Agree. So there, you go. there we go. Well, see, you, I agree with everything you, you said. You did. Yep. Well, I'm glad I gave you the opportunity to defend things. <laughs> <laughs> 
coming up I'm here. I'm going to get punched in the stomach after I leave this <laughs> station today by about six dudes. They're going to be like, dude, you were supposed to have our bags. Nerd. Shut up. Suck up. <laughs> Coming up, what kind of drunk person are you? We'll do that. And then also SOS, Stump Our Sturm is coming up. And if there's a song you want to hear, email me, Stacy at URLradio.net. That's S-T-A-C-Y at URL Radio. <laughs> you couldn't do it. <laughs> you couldn't keep a straight face. And I knew it. I knew it from a half a block away. I swear to God, Zach Galifianakis <laughs> just by <laughs> in a really weird outfit. And he was that was that was full on strut is what he was doing. Was. Oh. oh crap. <laughs> URLradio.net.